my video for August 21st, 2019 is video number 3184. The title is Deep State FBI, NSA, and CIA Mass Spying Programs. Do you trust the government? That is a question we all have to face, in my opinion. As I've often said, there are many things I continue to question. This is the story I read, quote, Trump requests permanent reauthorization of NSA mass spying program, end quote, true. Some may think the three-letter agencies protect the people. I do not see it that way. John Stockwell said, quote, it is the function of the CIA to keep the world unstable and to propagandize the American people to hate. So we will let the establishment send any amount of money on arms, end quote. And Gore Vidal added or said, quote, the corporate grip on opinion in the United States is one of the wonders of the Western world. No first world country has ever managed to eliminate so entirely from its media all objectivity, much less dissent, end quote. Frankly, what we call our government is a mind control operation used by those who commit horrific crimes against humanity and cover them up with secret agreements, which, if the truth were told, would anger any sensitive, informed man or woman who still thinks we all have natural rights as I do. There are realities we each must face for ourselves. The deep state is one of those, unfortunately. I continue to wrestle with ideologies. The one that keeps being presented in the discussion groups of some of the groups that I still belong to is that we create our own reality. That what we experience is what we've created. Of course, that was some of the brainwashing and indoctrination that I went through, uh, believing certain teachers uh, that I've mentioned or talked about whether I mentioned their names or not, I've talked about them in other, other videos. And there's this whole propaganda thing that, to me, it's propaganda, that we create our own reality. Uh, that everything that happens in our lives is something that we manifested. Well, I watched a program uh, actually just last night uh, when I couldn't fall asleep. I went back and I watched a program of uh, FBI files, I think that was what it was called, something like that. And they were uncovering m murderers and, and crimes that were committed, and it made the FBI look really good. And there are, in all of these three-letter agencies, I believe, people that do have an intention of doing the right thing, just as there are in government, there are people in the mind control system, which is what government actually is, uh, that have a more positive agenda, shall we say, than some of those who have a very uh, dark agenda because they have committed so many crimes against innocent children even, which is something that is abhorrent to me, uh, and yet it's practiced at the highest levels of our institutions, whether it's religion, whether it's government, whether it's corporations, they seem to have a propensity toward violating little children and in some cases even drinking blood. And I don't, I didn't intend when I started this video to get into that aspect, but, and I'm not going to dwell on it, certainly. What I'm trying to get my mind around and human awareness around is that we live on a planet that there are a lot of things that are going on in a high in high places that mind you it's high places that these things are going on i mean that the 
kings and queens and uh, popes and, and people that wear robes and special garments and try to hold themselves as separate from everybody else, or just regular business people that look look normal. I mean, the the one guy that was the mass murderer on the thing last night, which they supposedly caught him, and and he was killed trying to recover his own weapon and use it against the police when he realized that what they were, and he and he shot himself, and the bullet went through him and hit the police that helped tackle him that was trying to. Uh, bring him under control as he was trying to sneak out of the United States into Canada. Uh, and he was on the, he was number one on the 10 most wanted list, which of course, uh, anyway, it, that was a, a, an, an amazing story. And it's one case where apparently, apparently these were people that were trying to stop other people from committing horrendous crimes. And that goes on. It's part of, unfortunately, part of human society, human culture. But the thing that that I keep coming to b battle with is, is so many of my friends, as I've said, think Donald Trump is some kind of a savior. But why would he want to reauthorize the NSA mass spying program where the gut where which gives people in the government the supposed right to invade people's privacy and spy relentlessly on everything we do. And the technology is now in place that that is more, we, those people are more capable of learning more things about our secret lives than ever before through television and, and the mass media, of course, but also through the internet uh, and through much of the technology, the cell phones, et cetera, that we have come to take for granted, at least in the Western world. And these are things that to me are frightening in the respect that if we lose all natural rights and if we allow them to robotize our culture so that the robots are what is needed to keep the society going. People are less and less important. And one of the plans, according to some, is, is to give everybody money. Well, that's the RV is to give people money, but you know, not just uh, $50,000 to every man, woman, and child, which is supposedly the Rothschild's plan. Uh, and they know that they'll get it all back within a relative short period of time because people have no sense of, of helping one another. Everything is service to sell. And these are ideas that we have to come to grips with and that I personally wrestle with that even as I sit down and I didn't have a specific topic today and I was looking at various things, considering possibilities. Uh, when I came across those quotes, and there were many more quotes I could have used. I mean, these are just two that I picked out bec because they were fairly short. Uh, but folks, we can't continue to do what we've always done and expect to get something different. We have to be willing to look at the hard things, the so-called negative things, the things that upset us. It's easy to justify putting our heads in the sand and pretending it doesn't matter. But it does matter to those young women that were killed, raped and killed and tortured by this demon of an individual. But bear in mind, the demonic activity is not just related to individual criminals here and there scattered throughout human culture, but it's at the highest levels of human culture, our so-called leaders. I'd like to trust Donald Trump. I'd like to believe he's doing the right thing, but he still seems to be in bed with some very dark influences, and that makes it more and more difficult for me to throw my weight and assent, consent behind him. Thank you folks for listening and namaste.